Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and it's been a long week. <laughs> it has been a very long week. Uh, not too much has changed since Tuesday. Uh, I had intended to uh, to merge those. I got to get these guys put together. I got to get these guys put together. I'm trying to start working on getting some proper tools on the regular. Um, <clears throat> there is a, a cave somewhere in here very nearby. I hear stuff in there all the time. I'll, I'll have to deal with that at some point in the very near future. Um... No, that's not where I wanted to go. Where did I want to go? I wanted to go over to the village real quick, and then I'm probably going to spend most of the rest of the live stream here. Uh, I, I'm struggling to get through doors, apparently. Yeah, it definitely feels like there's a cave somewhere near there. Um. Err. Uh. Yeah, that's par for the course, par for the week. Just, uh, yeah. All right, let me let me get over to the village real quick. Uh, hopefully this weekend. <coughs> Sorry, uh, just finished wolfing down some dinner, and uh, I, I do put a little bit of spice in there. <laughs> and so, uh. The good part is, is it clears the sinuses. The bad part is, is it clears the sinuses right before you go live. And, uh, yeah, I, I need to, I need to get some coffee or something going. Uh, <clears throat> I might ask Arcadius to put on, uh, some form of caffeination as soon as he is available. All right. Oh, uh... <laughs> Hopefully this weekend I'll be able to get started on the gunpowder sugarcane farm and we will have the supplies for rockets and I will not be hoofing it back and forth. I'll actually have a supply of rockets. I've got mending and unbreaking already on the elytra. Oh, hi friend. Um, of course I don't have my shield or a bucket of milk on me. Um, all right, guys, let's do this. There you go. Shoot the leader. Shoot the leader. Can, can I get you guys to shoot your leader more? There you go. There you go. Get him. Get him. Come on, why did you guys step in front of him? <sighs> this is not the way this was supposed to work out. Fine. Fine. <laughs> I guess I took a couple of arrows, huh? <laughs> Took a couple arrows on that one. I used to be a Minecrafter, then I took an arrow to the knee. 
Sorry, too old. There's been plenty of that going on, too. <laughs> Somebody asked me about a game I wanted to... I, I was contemplating uh, playing for Games Revisited. And, and I mentioned that, that I kind of still would like to finish Azrael's Tear after all these years. And like, what? Uh, Azrael's Tear was a game that came out in the Windows 95 era. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that, that, was, that was a minute or two ago. Um, Azrael's Tear came out in the Windows 95 era, and uh, it was an early puzzle-type adventure. Um, not not quite full-on mist, but definitely in a similar vein, where you you had you. You were trying to figure out what happened to a research party that appears to have gone mad in this excavation site. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, the CD that we got when we got the game was damaged and glitched out at uh, near the end. And uh, the replacement? Yeah, the replacement wasn't any better. All that for a bucket of milk. <sighs> Alright, I got five rockets. I, I I I can't stand to walk again. Last five rockets. Glide further. Make it, make it over this way. Yeah, Reyes has been busy with that. That, that is one of the things that I definitely want to do. I want to make a slow fall potion and uh, go through, go over the floor plan. Um, <laughs> yeah, get some rockets and a slow fall port potion and uh, go over the floor plan, and that would be fantastic. You're welcome, Reyes. My plus one flighty thingy. I don't even think you're watching right now. That's okay. I'll pick on you again when you get here. Alright, let's uh, replenish our bucket of milk. Um, I might want to just go ahead and keep that on me in case that happens again. Um, I've got the I've got the shulker boxes now. I, I could probably get together my, my normal emergency kit. Um, my roadside assistance kit, uh, so to speak. You know, with, with a stack of food, a stack of rockets, and various other sundry, like, oh no, I need this right now type stuff. Um, although, although this season I might try, since I, I tend to always keep a silk touch pick on me anyway, I might try doing this such that, um, such that I always have, um, A uh, uh, ender chest on me. How you doing? How you doing? All right. So this has been this has been this has been something. Uh, I tried some trap doors. I tried the setup that I got there. There's some weirdness happening with the iron farm, and I've been trying to trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, these guys. I didn't mean to tap on the bed. Great. Um, they're, they're not working during the day, even though they, they should at least be hitting the station once or twice, even with everything that's going on, and they're not sleeping when they should either. Um, I got a piston back there that I use to shut off the view to the, to the zombie, and they'll start sleeping, and the iron farm will start working for a little bit, and then it just kind of peters out. I know that there's a couple of conditions that needs to be met before they start 
producing golems. Um, and for whatever reason, one of them ends up missing at the worst possible times. And I just, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know why it is. Like, these guys should be sleeping right now. And they're not. Uh, and because they're not sleeping, they're not producing iron golems. But we do that. That technically counts as enough sleep for them. Although, since they uh, they don't have line of sight to the zombie with the current setup, uh, they're not getting scared out of the bed. So when I went AFK, the iron farm was not producing iron at night uh, because these guys weren't getting scared back out of the bed once they got in. So... I'm not sure if this guy needs to be raised up a half slab uh, or if the beds need to be moved down or, or what needs to happen with that. But there there's some funky issues with line of sight going on and uh, and so... Let me let me go let me go sleep and get these guys back out of bed, uh, and you'll notice that all of a sudden the iron farm will start working again. Hello. Hello. Actually, oh, I've also been using that for uh, getting levels. So that 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 for stack and forty is. And there we go. So they are missing. They are missing the sleep. They're not. They're not uh, going to sleep. Probably should have my wings on when I did that too, so I could get them mended. Oh, I might actually have the levels to merge those two picks now. Uh, so yeah, it it's gonna work for a while, and then I don't know if it's uh, because they don't hit up the workstation or hello beach duck I don't know if it's because they're they're not hitting up the workstation or because they're stopping stopping sleeping but yeah it's working now some some height adjustment is off where they don't think they can sleep when they should and they're not getting out of the bed when they should. So, I don't know. How you do? it, it, it's not. It's not that far off from working though. So there is at least that. Um, I need to go drop my emeralds off, and then, and no one then, and then we can actually get to the part that I was planning on doing. Um, <laughs> I was hoping to get a little, a few more levels. I, I do need to drop this off in my ender chest for now in case I run into another wandering trader last time he had nothing to offer me um, which is less than fun it was very much less than fun oh uh, before I forget beach duck did you get the email I sent you about the remarkable two This, this is where the lag part kind of gets a smidgen frustrating. Uh, what am I here? Any, anything good? No? Eh, some junk bows, some leather tunics. Oh, well, that could use a... Maybe? <laughs> maybe? Oh, oh, never mind. Uh, I, I, I think I just realized why, why that might be a maybe. Um... So, Daily Tech News Show does a regular segment called Live With It, where the show will buy a product and Sarah Lane will live with it for three months at a minimum. Uh, 
And I really appreciate that style of review. It's the same reason why I tend to lean more towards Paul Thorat's reviews because he doesn't he doesn't just pick up the device for for an hour or two and you know go okay no I I, I got a feel for it and uh, write up a bunch of hot takes and you know uh, maybe a copy paste of the specs and feeds and things. Um, yeah, you know, Throp tries to live with it for a little bit, although, again, he's kind of constrained to time and a publishing schedule. And the nice thing about what Daily Tech News Show does is Sarah lives with it for three whole months. So you really get a, you really get a chance to try it and, and see stuff good, bad, and indifferent. And uh, the most recent one published was on The Remarkable 2. The nice thing is, is that um, as part of a promotional thing, Daily Tech News Show uh, is running what they tongue-in-cheek called uh, Free HBO Week. Yeah, If you're old like me and you remember uh, when HBO used to try to entice you to subscribe. I gotta light that up too. Uh, would it try to entice you to subscribe by uh, randomly giving you a free week of access in, in the hopes that you would like it so much that you would subscribe. They took a week and um, okay. they took a week and, and uh, made everything that would normally be patron only uh, and put it all on the public feed. I can't remember if live with it ends up on the public feed anyway or if it ends up on the public feed on a delay uh, or how how that works but it doesn't matter in this case because it is it is definitely in the public feed this go around so the device that that Sarah lived with is called the remarkable 2 it is a tablet like device uh, and, and this is the being a little a little funny about the uh, the definition for for good reason because it, it's not exactly an e-reader it's not exactly a notebook it's not exactly a tablet but it's a little bit of all three so it is an e-ink display uh, very much like the Kindle Paperwhite and Kindle Oasis and you know those those types of Kindles so it's an e-ink display black and white grayscale uh, it is about the size of a U.S. letter document, uh, maybe a little smaller than that. Now that I now that I think about it, and it's super thin. Uh, the big the big draw, literally, is that you can draw on it. So uh, it is excellent for annotating documents. Uh, using as a scratch pad notebook type deal um, and that kind of stuff and uh, I appreciated Sarah's review however it this feels like the first time there was a bit of a mismatch between Sarah and the product uh, no, it, it just doesn't feel like Sarah was the, what, like this was most of the products Sarah loved and enjoyed and understood. And even if she, even if the ultimate was, uh, it's not for her, uh, she got it and was able to really, um, uh, understand the ins outs and complications and and the remarkable two just didn't just didn't click one of the one of the things that the remarkable two has is the ability to act as an e-reader um, but not it doesn't tie into your kindle library or anything or your kobe library or or your um nook library sorry i had to think about barnes and noble the, the also also ran of the ebook um, <clears throat> so it can only, it can only read non drm um, non drm PDFs and, uh, Mobi ebook files, or sorry, EPUB. 
so you know part part of her criticism wa- was related to that that uh it just it didn't it didn't feel like a good ebook uh or like a good reader and to me that that kind of feels like it's missing missing the point um it's not an e-reader in that sense it it really feels like the kind of thing that I could have used when I worked at the hospital and we had and we had the American Heart Association teaching notes that we had to have on us uh, and it would have been great for that kind of stuff sorry I know I just tore all that up uh, I'll explain what's going on there in a minute uh, it seems like it would have been a really good fit uh, if I had the money to, to burn, it could be a good fit now because I could have all my repair manual references and, and stuff along those lines already ready, like right there. And, and that sort of thing. So... Uh, hmm. So I, I could see where it would be very useful for, uh, like you, Beach Duck, or Rayest, or Pink Geek. Like, I, I could see you using it for, and Reyes using it for meeting notes and reference documents and, and that kind of thing. I could see uh, you and Pink Geek using it for art sketches as a sketchbook type deal. Um, and, and, and so I could definitely see it filling those niches. Although one of one of the one of the other things I got brought up that is a very very legitimate issue is they between when she started the review and the time of publishing the review, Remarkable changed their synchronization stuff to be a a pay for service. So if you wanted to, to say, synchronize with a library of documents on Dropbox, uh, you'd have to pay eight bucks a month. If you wanted to synchronize with the Remarkable library, you would have to, you would have to pay three bucks a month. Uh, she got grandfathered into the old... Uh, to the old to the old unlimited free plan because of when they bought it but that doesn't change the fact that uh, that's that's a chunk of change right there that you're asking for on the regular for something that that might not necessarily be 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 worth that kind of deal um, so yeah that that's kind of that's kind of where all that was at and 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 again, I, I could see where it could be useful for certain people in certain scenarios, but not. Um, but I can also see where it, it's not quite for. Or it's not quite for Sarah. Does that make sense? Hey, Azrael. How are you doing today? I. I'm trying to pretend like I can build and have a relaxing, uh, a relaxing Friday. Um, I, I've got the main, the main hall interior done. I got the floor put together. Uh, I like the walls, but I'm not a hundred percent sure they're going to stay like that. 
And what I want to do now is I want two. Ooh, nice. I want to get two staircases um, about a third of the way back. And actually, uh, yeah. So starting about here-ish. And I want one staircase to go up that way. One staircase to go up this way. Uh, but I'm really... And then figure out where the balcony should be. Because I, I, I'm going to raise the roof. And, and put a uh, put a balcony in here. I just... I'm not sure I want the square... The square staircase. I would like to try to get some sort of... Circular, spirally type deal. No, I sound like I asked. Uh... And I just, I don't, I'm, I don't know how to pull that off. I was kind of hoping that, uh, ooh, yeah, Beast Lord J is some good people. Uh, I've been, uh, we, we've been trying to help each other. Uh, he sent, he sent a lot of people my way. I try to send a lot of people his way because he is, uh, he's good people. And I, I deeply appreciate what he does, stuff like that. He's a good guy. Um. Uh, I don't... I'm just not sure how I want to make this, uh... Make this work. I'm not sure I can make this work. Now, when you say you bought Minecraft, did you get the Bedrock Edition or the Java Edition? Because right now we are on a Java server, and that does that does change the availability of some of the stuff that we have. Okay, yeah, Bedrock is good. Don't don't hear it. I'm not saying uh, Axonim, who is a frequent guest over here, also does some Minecraft uh, fairly regularly, and usually with his kids, which is always fun to watch. Uh, so if you, <laughs> yeah, if there's not enough to watch on on, uh, on Twitch, definitely give Axonim a follow too, because uh, he gets on with his kids from time to time on Bedrock. And uh, one one of the things that's always a little frustrating is I'll I'll do something with a redstone machine, and it's not always stuff that he can duplicate because uh, because Bedrock redstone and Java redstone are a little different. So when you're looking for build recommendations and tutorials, that's one of those things you gotta you gotta kind of watch for. Is uh, is it Bedrock or is it Java? Because uh, while there is a lot of overlap, it, <laughs> they don't completely overlap. And uh, yeah, make makes life interesting. So. I don't know how long I'm going to keep fussing with the, uh... You know what? I'm not going to fuss with the... I, I'm going to make a square... Square... Stairwell. And then get to the landing. Uh... Because the, the circular thing is just beyond me today. It was a... It was a day of work. I'll say that. And I really, I really want to get some progress on that. I need to get the, uh, I need to get the mob grinder going this weekend. I, I thought about working on that today, but uh, I only half remember how to do what I wanted to do, and I don't want to go all half remembered on this one. I, I'd like to actually, you know, make it look a little decent. <laughs> I try. I'm also not sure that I want to do this stairwell out of stone. Out of stone brick. I got a ton of stone brick that I that I just don't know what to do with. And I'm not... I mean, th this was just a placeholder. I'm not... It feels like the wrong shade of gray. You know, the, the, this gets into that whole color theory stuff that uh, Beach Duck could definitely get into more than more than I should. Uh, where this gray and this gray are 
too close to contrast, but too different to match. I just, I don't, hmm. That's not working. And I don't know that, I don't know that that color tone is working with the deep slate either. I was really hoping to not have to go all deep slate on this stairwell and whatnot, but, uh, but I might just have to. Um, or maybe, or maybe I, I do stone trim and then deep slate for the center material. Or maybe blackstone. Raw blackstone might match with the basalt. What do you mean no comment? Uh oh. There is a witch nearby. Which old witch? <laughs> is she a good witch? Or a bad witch? Now I think we know the answer to that question. Well, there's a movie I haven't thought about in a very, very long time. <laughs> Alright, uh... I've got... Mm, I got a little bit of deep slate. Uh, that, that could work. Uh, I, I've got some more basalt, so I could always do some more polished basalt for some of this too. But I, I don't think... Um, I don't think... Uh, or Sorry, smooth basalt, not polished basalt. That is polished basalt. That is smooth basalt. And I don't know that smooth basalt has any stairs, slabs, or other craftables with it. No, no, of course not. That would be useful. Uh, so, I could also take the raw basalt and do something with that. But that wasn't what I was looking for. If I were me, where would I have put the... There we go. There's the black stone. All right. So we got a couple of variety of blackstone to work with. And the question is, is if any of this will actually uh, match in an aesthetically pleasing way. Uh, let's make some regular raw blackstone. Let's do some polished brick. I know the polished isn't going to match because I tried that with the walls earlier. I guess the, that those are my options. All right. Uh, so what if I do something like that? You, you get the the brick texture. Uh, that grace. I, I yeah. I don't like it. I do not like it. Same. I am. I really could go for some green eggs and ham. All right, let's get the black stone. Let's grab... Do I have any more shroom lights? Yeah, I got a few more shroom lights. Because I'm pretty sure that... Uh, I'm going to need to... I'm going to... going to need to do a few things. Like, finish a thought and... Um, Actually, that might... I might could go with that. Uh, let me go... Let me go turn... Like, once the stairs are cut, that's it. Yeah, once the stairs are cut, that's it. too bad. Not too bad. So now, uh, oh, let me go get the, let me go get the brick again. The brick that I, that I said I probably wouldn't need. <laughs> because of course, uh, let's go...
Uh, we'll probably have a stair. One, two, three. A stair there, and then go like a so, which means. Oh. Um, let's pop that out. I want to make sure I put a light on the stair because I, I prefer not having uninvited guests. Uh, oop, that was almost bad. Let's keep with the design below and get a little more something in there. Uh, what if I do... Or do I just repeat that design just with a different ring? No, because this is going to be the transition. So let's do... Let's do that. That gives the same vibe as there, but a little bit different. No, no I, need, I need something not... Something not Blackstone there. Let me grab some, uh, let me grab some raw basalt. And just to have it on hand, let me grab some tuft. Because that tuft is what's down below. Uh, that helps tie it with here being the same, but I, no... I'm not loving that. Let's go. Oh. This is directional, which is always fun. So let's get something underneath it to, uh, to make it easier. Or do I grab the deep slate brick? Although I don't think the deep slate brick is going to fit that any better. Um, hmm. What else do I have that might work? We've tried all the black stone. I guess we could give the polished basalt a try. I don't I don't think that's gonna work out quite so well. Um I could try more of the smooth basalt. Hmm. Although the smooth basalt is also directional, so uh Let's do that and then try this again. I both do and don't like that uh, it is a directional block. I mean, I do because it gives you options. Nope. And that's not the one that I wanted to put there anyway. I wanted the smooth assault. 
I don't think is a directional. I think it's just the regular basalt that is. But... Still gotta work up a rail to go along the edge here. And I gotta figure out at what height the balcony is gonna go. Two, three. I need more stairs. I need more blackstone. <laughs> let's uh let's go. So don't wanna do this, but Let's crank out the stairs. That's not what I wanted. Wanted to get stuff out of my way. Yeah, I still gotta work out the trim and a safety rail, or, or maybe I just, you know, use at your own peril. <laughs> and then we got the next one. Two, and then, oop. Helps if you use the right block. And then we go three. do whatever's going to happen for the floor up here. Uh, again, I would like to do more with the stone brick in no small part because I have an overabundance of stone brick. I want to keep to a design that is definitely the same size as the floor below. Uh, all right, so I need polished black, and there we go, and there we go. Because that's going to be on that part, and that's going to be there. Seriously, dude. I still gotta get a name tag to silence this guy. Alright, he's still eating that sweet berry. Uh, I still gotta get the other one from uh, wherever... Uh, I'm gonna have to venture all the way out to the swamp. And get the other fox so we can have more foxen. Um, I keep saying, wanting to say the fantastic Mr. Fox, but uh, that might be a little different. So, like a so. going on outside my front door. Oh! Oh, 
A witch must be dying in the powdered snow. I'll help you. Anything good? Oh, all that for some sugar? Now we need another bucket of milk. <laughs> well, the nice thing is, uh, assuming they don't ram you off the mountain, uh, you can get milk from goats. There's usually... There's usually two or three of them around this area. Where did all the goats go? Oh. Any other time, I'd be mad that he's up here. Or at least nervous. I, I hear him. I hear the goat. I wish I knew what was up with Optifine and why it was doing that kind of stuff. <coughs> I do still wonder if Arcadius would mind making like a half a pot of coffee or something. Any other time, there's like five goats floating around here. But now that I need one for a bucket of milk, they've all but disappeared. Hello. What, what, what's what's the what's the call of a wild goat? Get off my lawn. Do do I need to whistle far and we? Or no, that's the goat footed bloom man, right? Something like that. couple of these guys on a leash though <laughs> so that way there's somebody nearby when I need one because there used to be five of them all running around this mountain now we got like the one guy the what oh yeah no the goats, goats don't drop food well, that explains where one of them went. It still doesn't explain the rest of the missing goats, though. All right, never mind. That explains where all the goats went. Somebody didn't realize they don't drop food. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Oh, those do change based on direction. Okay. I'm okay with that, though. Or maybe not. I don't know. If you can't tell, does it really matter? Two, three, four, five. Watch, I'm going to finish this and I'm going to go, nah, it's just not, it's just not doing it. Try try the first run at it and see if I can figure out what it is that I don't like about it. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing it in stairs or, or in concrete, but we don't have concrete stairs, Moyang. Two, three, four. All right, yeah. about to run out of blackstone bricks, aren't I? I have none more blackstone bricks, and I really could use some more. Uh, 
do... I didn't think it was that far down. Alright, I got a little bit more black stone to turn into bricks, and then, uh, and then I'm going to have to take a trip out to the nether whether I want to or not. Might have to go back and just use the uh, the polished basalt on the floor design. Although it's growing on me. Definitely got to put something under that, too. Uh, I need some supporting pillars or something. Or some some sort of visual support. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll make it out of the, the warped... The warped lumber from the other side. Alright, first things first, though. I need to start... Do I have enough stairs? I might not have enough stairs. Well, that could be an issue. Do I, uh, do I run to the nether now? Alright, so one block, two block. One block, two block. Did I put anything on the other side of that? No, I didn't. But I will. I, I'll need to. Um, I'll fill that in once I start. Uh, when, I, when, when I get more materials. So we got two. And then... Three. Alright. And then we've got our other other floor. Feels about the right song. <coughs> Definitely going to want to thicken that part up. I still need to do something else under there and then figure out my support structure. One step at a time. <laughs> no, no pun intended this time. I mean, I'm good for that kind of pun, but... That that was definitely not the intent this go round. <sighs> Barely enough. Okay. All right. feel about
think some of it, if I if I thicken it up like that, it, it gives it a little bit more of a solid feel. I, I this is where a vertical slab would be really nice. Um, it, it's less the support and more the color palette that I'm just not a hundred percent sold on. But the this has always been a weak spot for me anyway that that's part of why i'm trying to do this is so i can yeah sure shore up some of those weak spots yeah that gives it a little bit a little more solid um i feel like i need to either fill that in or do something with it and that could be what I do is instead of instead of trying to put an arch or something over here. Uh, although, do I just try to do that? Although that would center it. Uh, except that doesn't. That looks off. That looks so off. I'd be better off doing that. So that's a thought. Definitely going to shore that up. Um, since we got the brick on the underneath, I might, I might could do some of the, some of the black stone brick stairs on the underside here. So we'll put. that which definitely thickens it up a little bit <laughs> now I'm rushing no, I'm rushing. All right, all right. Slow down, slow down. Get get everything in the right spot. A place for everything and everything in its place. Yeah, the texture of that does give it a little bit something different. I I don't I don't mind that. I could always try regular stone instead of the stone brick, since everything else has a little less. And I, I, I could always go back to to more, more, more deep slate. So I don't want to do more deep slate though. Let's try that. Let's. Uh... Let's go with just some stone like that. At least on the uh, on the outside. Duck, feel free to chime in anytime you want. Across uh, stairs. Mm. 
Maybe I should sleep on it. <laughs> oh. Well, no matter what, I'm going to need a lot more blackstone. Uh, I kind of want to finish filling, filling out that balcony there, but... Although... I almost feel like all this needs to be moved forward one one set of blocks. Because <laughs> that... Uh, yeah. Oh. Need more bricks. Alright, let... let uh, let me hem and haw just a little bit more. All right. Let's get some bricks. I'm not worried about wasting stone. I've got plenty of that. Uh, how am I on smooth basalt? I am very low on smooth basalt. Uh, that could be a problem. That could very much be a problem. Let's, uh... Let's drop all this in here for the moment. Definitely not using the tuft. I'm going to need more basalt. I don't think I'm using the polished basalt. Um, I really need to work on <laughs> I, I need. I need a place to store stuff. That's organized. It's not a pile of chests in the corner. Um, I need a space spot to set up some smelting or I need to make my way over to the coral reef and go go get some uh, dead coral fans because I need to cook up some more basalt and I've got a nice little lava base system that's good for small artisanal batch jobs um, I've moved it twice and I, I'd like to find a more permanent home for it I'm tempted to do that down here matter of fact that uh, that might be what I do is let let me clear out the basement while I'm contemplating what to do next and maybe maybe this is one of those things that I need to go step away from it and then uh, and then take a take a second look at it then uh, while I'm doing that uh, oops, wrong way around there we go. Now I've got uh, some fortune handy too, because I knew there were some ores down here. And I they were not ores that I wanted to silk touch. So let's fortune us up some iron and coal. Uh, before too long, I, I will definitely have the cobble to fill <laughs> fill that hole back in. Actually, since uh, my silk touch is, or since my only diamond pick is a silk touch pick, I will have some I will have some stone to fill that in in just a minute. All right, let's clear from there to here real quick. <laughs> real quick. What is this real quick of which you speak? Yeah, still gotta I gotta do something about that. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get some bone meal, and I, I gotta I gotta look up coral reefs and see if there. For some reason, I thought there was a way to grow coral, and now I'm wondering if this was one of those things that, like, yeah, if you bone meal coral in a warm ocean you've got a percentage chance of it generating uh, coral, the, the plant, not the, not the block. And uh, yeah, just one of, one of those type deals where it's, uh, you have a percentage chance doing it. Cause I, I, 
I deeply remember seeing somebody running a coral farm. But even then, I don't I don't think that was any of that was coral fans. It was just the coral itself. And I'm starting to I deeply suspect that uh, there is no way to grow or f uh, farm coral fans in any, any way other than I go out to the middle of nowhere in the warm ocean and uh, and find me some <laughs> find me some coral fans and silk touch them. I. Th I just, for some reason, I really, really thought it was a renewable resource that you could, uh, that you could get more of. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. Alright. But anyway, that, that, the whole reason why I need the coral fans is I actually just need dead coral fans. That is the key to running the carpet duplicator that powers the temporary furnace array that should uh, smelt things up pretty quick. And while I'm there, I can also uh, use the skeleton farm to get a little XP back since I'm down to a measly four levels. Because this is not exactly the most stunning live stream. And it's... Hello again, Beach Duck. I was wondering where you went. I was looking for some uh, feedback. I'm not sure if I want to do regular stone stairs like that or the stone brick. I'm leaning more towards the stone brick since that's going to be a ring and then setting this up here. But I, I don't know. There, there's something... Maybe maybe I just need to keep it the same, but there is there are no basalt stairs, and I guess that that's the frustrating part is I don't I don't know that there is a uh, a stair that that fits with that basalt floor. And if I'm gonna just repeat the floor design here, I definitely want to put something under here so you're not sandwiched between two of the same. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to do that anyway. Um, so I don't, I don't know what I'll do there. Oh, I forgot I had the smooth stone. I could, I could do something with that. Although, there, uh, there we go. If I were me, I would have put the coal. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, over, over, uh, one, it was one of these guys. There we go. Shoot. Okay. That fits. <laughs> oh. my train of thought uh, other than this is this is definitely going to have to go up I, I need I need more more space I, I I'm really thinking this stairway should actually start here though and yeah no matter what I need to put something under there because that that's just not that, that ain't doing that ain't cutting it I wonder though. Let's uh let's get us a few slabs if uh, let 
Let's get us some stairs. Nope. I wanted that to go the other way. That way I can at least still get use of the light. I can remember to actually, you know, put the stuff where I intended to. Let's just do this now. So need to go grab. Um, try again. Did I lose you again? Today, today's today's internet is just not with you. Uh, all right, let me let me finish putting down some slabs or something. Uh, although that is the most boring ceiling, uh, I'll have to I'll have to do something about that for sure. Because that cannot. as never stone as the other as the other coffee craft server people but uh that's mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, that's boring okay I, I i like i like the rough black stone that does seem to fit nicely although for doing this. Where, where's my deep slate? What, Just have to uh, might just have to suck it up and go get some more. Go get some more deep slate. Definitely not with the uh, the regular stone though. same basic smooth basalt and we'll transition from tuft 
to cobble deep slate. Mm, that might be that stuck too far. Nope. Not that. Ooh, what about regular deep slate? Like actual deep slate. Um... Grab some uh, some regular deep slate. That that might be that might be something to play with. Oh, uh oh. I hear you, creeper. You can die in the snow. Where are you at? Maybe I do want to... Oh, no, 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 no. Is he still pathfinding to me? I think he is. He can go freeze in the snow. Let me get, let me use the silk touch to get some actual deep slate. Uh, in case you didn't know, uh, you can also cook cobbled deep slate back into regular deep slate, just like you can cook cobbled stone into regular stone. Uh, see the aforementioned, I, I haven't set up a furnace array anywhere. And the community smelter is not yet finished. Um, I should also get some coffee. I'll take those. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that might not be a bad idea. I've got a little area that I've been mining out some uh, deep slate from. go grab a little bit and then uh and then we'll go from there much appreciated regular deep slate stair or something like that I seem to recall that deep slate had a ton of variety in it that um, that was kind of it's frustrating that, that that deep slate has so much variety and yet uh, other stuff <coughs> concrete <coughs> uh, doesn't have nearly the variety that uh, that this does I also kind of think there should be a polished uh, there should be like granite brick and Andesite brick and... I mean, I'm sure somebody would find a use for diorite brick, but... Uh, I, I can't quite condone that one. Alright, that's that's all I wanted for now. I just need a little bit to, to play with. Um, but yeah, I, I, I kind of... As much as I would love the exciting kind of new stuff I, I i would love for one of the next couple of updates to be the parody update where where moyang goes through and finds all the things that are missing uh parody features like i think 
for the fancy stones like granite, there's a there's a granite wall, but not a polished granite wall. And that, you know, but I can get I, I can get polished deep slate walls and polished blackstone walls and. Uh, Blackstone and Deep Slate are pretty comparable on their varieties, but not not everything is, and that's the part that kind of kind of irks me, and it irks the real builders in the community as well. So first, let's see. Oh! Oh, there isn't anything. So, you... So, regular Deep Slate doesn't have... Um... Any... Any... Variations. It just... It just is. You need... Cobbled? To get everything else? That, that seems... Is there that big a difference between the cobbled and the real? I mean, at least there's a big difference between stone and cobbled stone. Uh... Mm -mm. That was a waste. All right, let me go. Let me go grab the tough then. Uh. Hmm. Uh, I think the tough works better with the polished basalt than it does the stone. Unless... Let me go back and grab the smooth stone. Although I don't think that's going to actually help anything. Uh... This is one of those, like, uh, should I stick to the design philosophy that's down there and have, uh, one variant of the block at the various points and another variant as the connectors? But that really feels like it should be something that's a little more, a little more directional. Because that, no, nah, that's not, that's not working. That's not working. Although. Let's go back and grab... regular stone. Where's my regular stone stairs? And some regular stone blocks. Okay. 
put that. That's not working. What if I just did? A stone border. And then through the slabs cross. So we've got stone brick supporting stone. No. Or do I stick with the original design? Or do we lose Beach Duck? Beach Duck is my uh, consultant on a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, this was what we were working with earlier, with the raw black stone stairs and the stone brick trim. And then this kind of design moving up as the design for the second floor. Uh, I was definitely going to try to find something different to do with these guys. Yeah, I, 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 I suspect uh, something, something... Internet connection issues. Actually, no, that's... I mean... I'm tempted to throw those in there. Not because I need the light, but because I would like something... to look like it's embedded in there. But I think I might put a uh, glass instead. try to get some uh, like just put a glass block in there so that way it's clear that something is there but not not a complete thought apparently um, I may I mean I, I did just get the I did just get the coffee but I'm having trouble stringing stuff together so may, maybe I will call it a night early The square design is growing on me. Uh, this, I like the deep slate, but man, that just feels like way too much deep slate in in one in one design. I kind of like the the black stone. That's different enough. I'm not sold on this design or the brick. Uh, which looks better, the one on the left or the one on the right? Waiting for Beach Duck to catch up. Okay. Yeah, so with the blackstone and the brick. I mean, d does the brick fit in enough with the uh, with the rest of the design? I mean, if you're if you're looking at that, something something's nagging at me that just doesn't seem to quite fit right and I just can't I can't figure out what it is. I wonder too. It has more contrast, or I need more contrast. All right, that's a little bit better. Um. Yeah, but I, I I get that that's why the the blackstone works. It, it's just the the stone brick that I'm not I'm not sure on. I mean, I could. 
where's uh where's my where's my deep slate? I don't wanna do the tile stairs. I don't want to do... well, although, I don't... Hmm. That might fit a little bit better. No? Or are you saying nope about something that happened a while ago? the deep slate to not enough of a I don't know too dark huh that could work that's like the the smooth stone doesn't come in stairs um I what else i have this light that might work a little bit better uh there's no basalt stairs cobble's really not it let's uh let's the 82 varieties of deep slate For now, I think I'm good with the shroom lights as a as a floor, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to need more more of the andesite. wish but no I, I don't I, that's not quite working with that or with that All right, I guess it's gonna end up being brick by default just on the sheer fact that nothing else quite works hmm, I, I might could do something with the chiseled stone too what other options do I have for uh no that's it I 
a minute. I, I guess, uh... I guess brick it is. I do like adding the chiseled stone on the corners for a little more variety. So that will definitely that will definitely be a thing. Let's uh, let's go ahead and poke out all the corners and make that happen. stairs so I can fix this one back. Cause that was a uh that was a miss. to not have that under there. And it was still the polished or the smooth basalt there. Four of the blackstone bricks. Polished blackstone bricks. All right. I guess we'll uh, we'll see how things go from there then. 
just did all that and I really I, I still think I'm gonna move that back although having the brick slabs up under there does that oh that's right that's right that's right I needed to come back and because that side was going to be stare 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 like that to give it a little more shape I don't know. That still kind of works. Uh, ooh. or do I put these smooth slabs to work? Although, no, that I don't think that's gonna. No, no. The design process live, <laughs> live and with struggles. The struggles are real. Um, or. do the slabs like that. Just so that doesn't feel quite... That feels a little too... Th too thick. Hmm. All right, I'll have to think of, uh, think on that one a little bit more. Either way, I definitely need more blackstone, so let's let's go take care of that. Let's uh, let's just dump everything into a random box. I mean, why not? Everything else is already that much of a mess. What's what's a little bit more? Let me grab my nether boots and um, I gotta get unbreaking on this thing. <laughs> I've definitely got to get unbreaking on this thing. Alright, let's make our way over to the nether real quick and hopefully uh, when we do Tuesday's live stream, I'll, I'll be flying around a little bit more uh, in a little bit more style. Uh, I'll or I'll be closer to it. I would like to have that built this weekend, and then uh, go from there. The design the design's not one that it, it's pretty much going to be the same the same mob grinder we used in season one, uh, the final version. And the only difference is I don't think I'm going to I don't think I'm going to use the um, the trapdoors to get only creepers because it would be nice to have have uh, multiple means of getting some of the other stuff too like uh, the bones and that thing I think the only the only thing I'm gonna continue to prevent from spawning or spiders just because they clog up a they clog up a mine mob grind or something fierce and I just I so don't want to deal with spiders uh, I'm sure this is something that Ray asked vehemently agrees with although I'm talking about the in-game spiders and she so doesn't want to deal with spiders period all right let me swap out the boots I'll uh Put those in a safe place for the moment. Mm. I'm gonna do something about that durability too. All right, to the nether. Now here's the question. This 
Oh no, okay. Alright, we get a nice nice vein of blackstone right there. Ooh, I get a I gotta remember while I've got downtime tomorrow to see if there's some what it is with uh X split that I can get. Um what shows up on the stream to be as bright as it is on my screen. Because right now, that, that ain't the case. I need, uh... You know what we need over here? We need, we need a, uh... We need an ender chest over in the nether. I got a bunch of obsidian that I, that I got from, uh, elsewhere. Is there a, a spare flint and steel over here? No. Go fish. I thought my flint and steel was in there. Apparently not. There we go. Yeah, that that might be a that might be a thing that gets worked on this weekend too. All the all the extra all the shulker box stuff. <laughs> Does it look fine? Cause on my side of the monitor. Once once we get into once we get into a hole like this, it looks really dark on the monitor, and I just I don't I don't know if that's uh, a my side thing or if that's there we go. There's a little more light. <laughs> I should probably grab the basalt too. Not like I'm not gonna need it. Even though the, I mostly came here for the uh, for the blackstone, so I'm gonna need that to finish off the floor. I'm gonna need to smelt up some more smooth basalt. Well, I've got some basalt. Um, <laughs> I know any basalt that I have left over, medic would deeply, deeply appreciate. So I'll have to leave that. Uh, oh, that was the other thing I was gonna do today. Uh, we. We usually have a mailbox uh, for each person, so that way if somebody needs to drop something off, you can. Until we figure out where the permanent mailboxes are going to be, I meant to work into the door a barrel that could be used as a mailbox, something that I could, uh, you know, let's go work on that now. You, you, you don't want to see me just sit around gathering stuff. Let, let's... Uh, Let's go do something exciting. Like watching me fail repeatedly at what's about to happen next. Ooh, sleepy, sleepy. Uh, I don't want to go through there at night. Let's uh, swap out the, the nether boots. Let's put the flint... Uh, actually, no. Let's hang on to the flint and steel. In case I need to burn another pillager. Who knows? Maybe I will end up with more basalt than I need. Wouldn't that be nice? No, because I, I, I do... I got a couple other things that I still need to do. Like, I, I want to put a couple of pillars or columns or some sort of... Uh, some sort of support. There's the mountain. So I need to figure out how that's going to work. I want it to look substantial enough, but not take up too much visual space. Because as it is, the interior is starting to feel a little cramped. I like. I might actually. Uh, I might actually uh, raise the stairs a little, or raise the floor that the stairs go to a little bit more. Because, uh, I mean, it's not quite Arcadius build cramped, but uh, it's getting close to it. I, I like space. I do not like uh, digging out the space, but I do like having space. Oh, 
to have rockets again. Yep. Yep. That's my high priority for the week. Because uh, <laughs> it's not going to be stringing guitars. I, I, I ended up running late because I needed to put the finishing touches on the employee purchase thing for some fresh guitar strings. And you wouldn't believe what I left on the printer when I left for work. <laughs> Oops. Alright, well. That feels big. But once this gets extended out, I don't know. And one block definitely feels too thin, but this, this doesn't, this isn't, I don't know, something's not. Hmm. Something's not quite working right. Or... Alright. Alright. I'm going to play with that a little bit more in a little bit. Let's, uh... Let's just... Storage storage needs to be a thing that happens very soon. Of some sort. Hmm. Maybe maybe I'll just put the the one pillar right here in the middle to support the floor, because this is kind of coming off the sides, and I can put a couple more um oh. I'm pretty sure that rumble. Surprised that rumble didn't uh, come up uh, on stream. Yeah, I think um, we'll go. that and that way it feels like it's tapering a little bit more Actually, be my answer for under the stairs too. That at least tries to give it a little more depth and interest. Uh, I, ooh. I should definitely find. I should definitely go harvest some vines, so that way I can throw some mossy stone in there too. Uh, mossy stone, and I can get cracked brick, but not not cracked, uh, but not uh, cracked brick stairs. That that's kind of a shame, actually. All right, so we'll go back and we'll dig that back up. have okay we got the stair under there and we're still going like so well, that is a repeat of the design that's over there um oh or is it because I've got that little bit there maybe I just uh, do that still kind of gets the same net effect of looking like there's some more there there.
Yeah, I think maybe once once I mix in some mossy and stuff to give it a little more variety. Need to figure out what the uh, what the railing is going to be as well. Uh, what kind of? All right, I can make black stone posts, or or do I do the the warped the warped fence? Hmm. Or do I grab some of the deep slate and just kind of mix it in a little bit to give it more of a two? T no, 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 no. Definitely, definitely throw some cracked in there just to give it a little more. Although nothing else is cracked or ruined in that sort of way, so maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, the rest of this floor is definitely going back that way, which means those top those top uh those top chests need to move. Hopefully it's nothing too uh, hmm. uh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, and none of that was what I actually sat down to... to that's not why I came in here to work. <laughs> I came in here... Uh, oh. Okay. Hello, my name is Anon. I get very easily distracted. Hi, Anon. Alright, I want a mailbox. I kinda I kinda like where that is, but uh that 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 needs to move too. That was graciously donated for a project, and I might Before I forget, let's go ahead and rename this from Barrel to... Oh! Okay, caps lock along the way somewhere. I should probably also sleep. And I really gotta find that cave that's around here, because that, that's driving me nuts. I have noticed, though, that... Uh, I, I like the caves and valleys, but man, there's a lot of caves and valleys. Like, there's so, so much of that. Alright. Let's put that there. Um, I almost want to cut a hole in the wall just because I don't want to have to keep dealing with... Uh, going back and forth because I also want to leave myself a light so that way I know I know when there is mail uh, I need a glowstone I need to find if I even have four redstone dust. I might have to, you know what? That's about to become dust. I'll have to, I'll have to, oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, 
And while I'm here, I'm going to need at least one... Oh, I need a comparator. Alright. So I'm going to need the quartz. Some smooth stone. Uh, I think only two torches? Maybe it was three. There we go. Yeah, it was three. Okay. So put something down so that way I know if I ever start digging around there that I'm about to dip into some redstone. And as we all know, the best the best thing for that is some wool. Uh, stone dust just in case or a torch I'm not sure which I'm gonna need let's try to pack this down as tightly as I can um, so if anything goes in there that's gonna give a signal will power I eventually want to get it up to that lamp there I guess, uh, I guess that is all I need. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was a little more complicated than that. Maybe it's just me making it a little more complicated than that. Which means I can then go and put my snow blocks back like that. I got a little mailbox off to the side. It is accessible from the other side. All the redstone is hidden. But my light shows up and that does not interfere with the door. Nice. Okay. That that was that was surprisingly quick and easy. Oh, I forgot that I had uh, I forgot that I had a button on that door. Had being the operative word there. Oh, nope, those are snow blocks. All right, there's the wool, and the dirt, and snow, and buttons. I mean, I could put a couple more buttons out there or something. I am tempted to take some of the some of the cobble pieces and make uh, stairs or something out of them, so that way I can 
keep uh keep my por front porch clean <laughs> and keep that keep that as it is because i worked so hard for that oh well that that'll be another day all right mailbox done small project uh stairs i i have a mostly mostly acceptable design i still gotta figure out i want to do some of this uh and figure out under there but I, honestly i i really think i want to move the stairwell back one set of blocks like i like this i like the open area here but i don't i don't know that it's going to give me enough up top here you know what let's finish up this top part real quick Let's finish up this top part real quick. I mean, I say that like I have some grand design for what I want there too, and I don't. Oh, I think that is going to be part of my problem. I, uh, I didn't grab a whole lot of black stone. Eh, that might be enough. Smooth basalt and bricks and chiseled and I think that about covers everything I need up there right okay yeah we'll go one two three That's what I'm going to run out of, the uh, smooth basalt. Because I just don't have, uh, I don't have enough at the moment. All right. Um, not quite the uh, vast array that I wanted to, to have running, but oh well. Let's get that cooking. I can always get more lava going. While that's cooking, uh, I can at least get uh, the rest of the stuff put together. Two, three, corner. I can do a little repair on the pickaxe once that's done do cooking too. All right. Let's uh hurry hurry hurry.
<laughs> Didn't intend to fall that far. Ooh, and I forgot to have the pickaxe out too. Doggone it. rushing and getting silly. Alright, slow down, slow down. No dying in your own, in the building of your own base. Not allowed. Much. I'm going to do is where that back hallway is. I'm going to clear out a bunch more space. And set up some sort of uh, a space that I can put boxes and project work and that kind of thing. See if we get enough, uh, enough here cooked to fill up those, fill up those, uh, gaps there. Probably not. Definitely not. The smelter only works on uh, works on ores. Oh, sorry, there's no mending on those. Yeah, I need to get I need to get a spot for a small that small lava base furnace array uh, for small batch projects like I got going here. Because I got the big one that I'm building over at the community center. Uh, and probably one that I'm going to go build in the caldera as soon as I know exactly where that's going to go. While I'm waiting. Where's the... Uh most of what I was looking for there. Well, 
let's just go ahead and uh, reserve up a little more space. Although, now that a Silk Touch pick is my primary pick, I don't plan on running into too much more cobble. He says, hopefully. <laughs> How much more did I just pick up? Oh, so much cobblestone. I, I thought I was done with this. three, four, five, six, and the two nether ones. I know there's going to be those guys there. That'll be the leaves for now. Maybe some of those guys there. The leaves. Uh, we got some odd, etc. Got the birch. And spruce and oak. Spruce. Jungle and oak. The dead trees. Uh, so much random stuff. I, I, I know I'm not going to be able to uh, keep... <laughs> all the lumber and lumber products in one one double chest so that's that's going to get uh separated out a little bit oh. okay i think that's all i had up there it so far. That should be enough smooth basalt to finish this off. And I don't know. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think, well, I think I'm gonna put some rooms up here. I know in addition to those two rooms, I'm gonna have a couple more coming off of the hall, like something over there, something over there. What is, what and which and where they go, I, that might be the next part to figure out. So, like, you come in here, you see the balcony, and, yeah, I definitely, I definitely want to move the stairs towards the front one more block and get one more, one more, uh, if that 5x5 five five is a block, I want to move all this over one more section to extend this forward one more section. And I need some sort of a roof design because I, I don't I don't like just doing brick slabs. But I definitely got to do I definitely got to do something. Definitely got to do something. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Or do I do it in copper? 
could do it in copper. I got so much cut copper. I could definitely, I could definitely coat the floor. Ooh, maybe that's what I do. I do underneath there in cut copper slabs, and then rotate it up. But I don't think there's a, I don't think there's a copper wall. I think it's just slab stairs and blocks. Um, easy way to find out though. Yeah, just slab stairs and blocks. But if I got that coming off. Nah, that's still a little too much. Although, uh Oh, there are no copper slabs. Like, the only slabs are the oxidized cut copper slab or the cut copper slabs. I thought there was regular, like, copper slabs. something like that continue that um, continue that wall up there and then wrap that using the wrap that using the warped wood stairs and wall although then it doesn't quite blend into the brick as well but maybe not I keep saying I'm going to stop and then I keep going with one more idea. I think I'm about to put back a bunch of the stuff that I just took off, but uh, let's clear that for now. Uh, so we're starting with a fresh palette. Let's find all the blocks we dropped. Because even though I've got stone to spare, I, I just can't bear to waste anything. I don't know where I got that from.
go after some more black stones. Let's do this for the moment. So I can at least finish up the stairwell, because that needs to be like a so, that needs to be like a so. I don't think... Oh no, that is, uh, that is slabs all the way across. Alright. Is that a little bit more something underneath it? I, I kind of like that that's hanging down like that. Uh, let's now that that's killing a lot of the visual interest though. Um, hmm. I like the lights. I don't like having two different designs. Although that definitely makes that feel a little bit bigger again. So, ah, too bad, too bad you can't make the uh, smooth, smooth basalt into uh, slabs. That would be nice. Some smooth basalt slabs, that way I could do one design on the top and one design on the bottom. Because the blackstone bricks can be turned into slabs. I wonder what else I could use that could be turned into slabs. So I can get something different on top of them. Oh, wait, no. You wouldn't be able to do that anyway, because you can't put a, a bottom slab under a different top slab. So that would end up poking through regardless. Uh, hmm... Or do I do like that? I didn't realize I dropped stuff there. Uh kind of walls can I set up with this? Just the regular stone brick walls. Okay. For some reason I thought I had other options. Hmm. Mm -mm. I need it to feel like it's connecting to something. Which is why I originally thought that maybe I'd want to do like that. Because then the wall would connect and it would feel a little bit more something. Although, now we're getting back to what if I do that and bring that out there like that. out here, like so.
Do walls keep you from, uh... No. Okay, good. Uh... I still gotta work out this side of things, but that that'll be that'll be next, maybe. I just I I really want this to feel like it's got a little bit more there there. And maybe that's uh maybe that's it. We get one of those guys there. Go either side like that, and then down there. That's uh, looking a little more promising. that side like it is. Get one of those guys like that. Like that, like that, like that. I definitely, I definitely want to get some more of the mossy variants in there though, but that at least, that at least gives it a little more, a little more variety. I almost want to make this want to make this a little more complicated now too. There we go. I knew I had more. Actually, that's not bad. Uh, oh, wrong way. see how much more I can I need at least for this part because again I'm definitely going to uh, I'm definitely going to expand this back out so we got a block there and then a stair a stair a stair Stairs. Oh, and wall. One last bit of wall. I can still open those with the wall above it, so that's that's no big. Uh, I got to do something about my now depleted lava bucket. Stairs. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. I still wouldn't mind hiding that design under something else. Although, again, I 
Uh, it's still a little too much of the same. <sighs> Something that will match. Or maybe I just do some raw, some more raw blackstone. Oh wait, no. There, there was a... Yeah, we did keep the slabs there. Did we? Yeah, we did. Okay. That's still progress. So I'm going to move these back to starting here. I'm going to add one more row of those guys out this way. I think, uh, I think I've got the beginnings of a decent floor. I wouldn't mind something, I don't know, I, I gotta do something about that, that design. That irks me. I find it irksome. I just, I don't know what. Because I can't use the tough, there's no tough stairs. I can't use the smooth basalt because there's no smooth basalt stairs. Hmm. All right, let me, let me toss into the junk drawer. The other junk drawer. The junkier junk drawer. Um, I still feel like there needs to be a railing of some sort and a banister running across there. Um, although, do I... I don't think I want to use actual wall. Not for, not for all of it. Uh, what if... We get... Like that. And that gives us the flip, the reverse. Now. Although I do, I do like the brick wall there. Alright, so the brick wall is definitely, definitely staying at the posts. sure about that part. Uh, there's one on that side, but nothing on the along the wall. What can I trim this with that will fit fit what we got so far? Because the Deep slate's not going to match. The basalt isn't going to be quite right. Ooh, iron bars. Iron bars could be a thing. That that would that would hit the color palette for sure. Um. Oh, where is my iron? Actually, before I go making a whole bunch of iron bars. That's right, I forgot that they connected. That was one of the nice, one of the nice additions. Okay, now I think we're onto something. If we can put stuff in the right place. Uh, I don't know about putting anything along that back wall there. I might, you know, let's, let's not, let's take that one up. Uh, leave that there. Although that looks wrong with that corner there, but. 
We'll get to the inside track in a minute. One step at a time. <laughs> Again, no pun intended. Alright, let's get some more iron bars going. Probably more than I need, maybe. Or is that where I put the uh, the polished uh, the smooth stone polished stone? I go dig up some andesite and get some polished andesite. Almost slabs. <laughs> um, well, I think I already had a. Yeah, I thought I had a bunch of slabs already somewhere. cap it with slabs I need to cap it with something that I can run all the way across and I don't I don't think that's gonna I don't think that's gonna cut it like the iron bars and the brick wall. Hmm. I almost want to go ahead and throw that there. Just to kind of give it a little more of a, a little more of a bookend. I don't. I definitely do not want to run the rail up along the wall, but I feel like I need to do something along that inside edge, and I don't. That's not gonna. That's not gonna work right. Not. Not without some smooth stone stairs. Still, that's better than it was. And again, I'm I'm gonna move all that forward a little bit anyway. Uh, that's way more slabs than I needed. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that over the weekend. I'll add that to my ever-growing list of things that I'll do over the weekend. Moving this forward one, uh, finding the dead coral fan, getting the gunpowder mob grinder going because I think I want this upper part here to be a little bit just that one more section longer uh, I, I'm i also going to have to cut down the, the roof a little bit more and start working on the arch 
I think I want the max of this to be yeah three more so that's three six six I total six I total on the inside so that's gonna be six I and then an arch of some sort I, I've got my circle diagrams over here so I'm gonna have to figure out you know like how how wide I've got to go and work out what I need to do for the arch. I don't know what I'm going to make the ceiling out of, though. That that part has still eluded me. Uh, maybe I'll do something with the deep slate tiles to kind of bookend it. That could be a that could be a thought. Uh, but that's that's still progress of a sort. I I guess so much digging in my future uh, to include figuring out rooms and how big I want to go in either direction. What's going to be in each room? Like, uh, I think I want a small workshop over here that's got the uh, the mini furnace array over in there and maybe a bunch of the, the work tables like... Uh, I'll set up the stone cutter and an anvil and all that stuff over in there. And uh, I'll need to set up a master bedroom so I'm not sleeping on a random bed in the middle of the floor. But I think I'll do that upstairs and out the back, maybe? Um, I definitely want to take this area and really, really dig it out and get a large space going. So I can throw up some uh, some some boxing and, and get uh, get that squared away. I'm tempted to get a small sweetberry farm going for bone meal, and you know get get a uh, a food take care of my food issues because <laughs> I, I just I don't I, I'm I got like what forty baked potatoes baked potatoes uh, man does not live on carbs alone. Although I'd be willing to try. No. <laughs> All right. So the, this this seems like as good a spot as any, especially since my uh, my poor pick is already about half half dead. It's only mostly dead. I need to go do something about that. Uh, while I'm working on various projects, I'm definitely going to go back over the mechanics of how. Uh, the mechanics of how iron farms work because uh, sorry I, just, I got distracted again hang on uh, I, I want to see if I can I can figure out how to how to help medic with uh, with some of the iron farm stuff we have we have going Yeah, I definitely need to go get some more blackstone. But I wonder if having that as the transition to the new design up there. Yeah, I I, I think I'm gonna do that. Need more blackstone. So much, so much junk. So much absolute junk. Yeah, oh, I almost, yeah, no, not wool blocks. Although I wonder if I did, uh... Nah, okay. Alright. I keep uh, I keep looking and going. Ah, just just this one more thing. Just this one more thing.
Or do I want to move that forward? I still don't even know what all I want up there. As it is. So that's one, two, three. And one, two, three. And the middle two are the stairs. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I will leave it like this for now. Until I figure out what what's going where. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll leave that I'll leave that alone for now. Uh although I think I want to put a pillar of some sort here. Cause this would be the middle, and then maybe maybe put something over the wall and over the wall. Just to give it a little more support. I just, I don't want that to become too busy. He says as he goes grabbing for more, more materials again. Uh, let's grab some stairs to play with and some blocks to play with and... Let's try, let's try something real quick. All right, which was my middle line? There's my middle line. There is my middle pillar. Seems kind of thin. That seems a lot thin. Although, even if I do that, I don't know that I like the pillar being one block. I did something like that it feels even less although maybe I need to maybe I need to go back and try to get some more cracked and mossy stuff in there first I, I guess I would.
Tartars was going to have to move. Let's do that before unfortunate things happen. Oh! <laughs> While I was AFK, I, I apparently got the um, achievement for protecting a villager from lightning using a uh, using a lightning rod. I'm a little worried about that one. It's a good thing Reyes decided to decorate with lightning rods. That's that's all I can say about that. Hmm. Eh. Nah. I like the idea of pillars, but I, I don't like those pillars. Um, all right, it's already 9.30. Uh, I am deep fried, so I'm going to go ahead and... I was going to say find someplace safe, but I am someplace safe. If this base ain't safe, uh, I got bigger problems. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of digging up there. And a lot of digging down there, too, because don't forget... I'm uh, putting in a basement as well, uh, at least from here to here. I kind of want to dig deeper, but I don't want to go deeper than the redstone here, if that makes sense. So I might rip up one block down and put in the floor there. Uh, I got to move that. Actually, let's go ahead and... That's my silk touch pick, right? Okay. Let's take that failed experiment. And pick that up. And, uh, yeah, I got a lot of digging, a lot of planning, and only a little bit of weekend. <laughs> <laughs> or at least it always seems that way. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Let's uh, maybe I'll decorate it in glow squid heads. This is where I'm going to say thank you for joining along. Tuesdays at 6:30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, I stream off of the Coffee Craft server, and Fridays is a little up for grabs right now. Um. I, I try very hard to... I'm trying very hard to get games revisited back in the regular rotation, and I'm just having a little bit of trouble with the energy bit. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. But something will always be happening at Friday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Not sure what. And eventually I'm going to start adding another couple of guitar projects probably on the weekends or every other weekend. It's going to be whenever I get a chance kind of deal. I've got a Stratocaster body that a friend of mine bought for a dollar at a church uh, yard sale, and it's a really nice Strat body. So he wants to he wants to get that kitted out and repaired and repaired and put back as together as a usable guitar. So I'll I'll probably do a little bit of that. I've got a Les Paul kit that I want to build, and the Great Guitar build off should be coming up soon too. Uh, I've got an idea for what I want to do with that, and whether or not that's more ambitious than I can manage, we'll see. Uh, just so long as I build something this year. I entered last year, and uh, just, uh, yeah. So, th this year I will actually enter and build. Let's uh, let's go raid Beast Lord J. He is a wonderful, wonderful person. Um I always hate day, days like today where I've got either Grimly or Beast Lord J to raid, and it's all, uh, you know, Grimly's playing Apex Legends, good guy, streams very frequently, 
Uh, so if you haven't already, give them a follow. Uh, we are going to go raid Beast Lord because, uh, yeah, I, he's a great guy. If you're not already, give him a follow. I'm going to hit the title card, and I will see you next time.